All right. We're back. <laughs> Graveyard, <laughs> Graveyard Ship Movie Podcast. Podcast, episode number 55. This week, I don't know whose pick it was, but they picked um, Antichrist from 2009, starring Willem Dafoe. Shout out. The Green Goblin himself. <laughs> I'm somewhat a scientist myself. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's what we watch this week. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal a, a line from, uh, from Tyler here. Uh, I think this is one of the worst movies <laughs> we, 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 we've ever watched. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a, a solid one. Um, and, uh, yeah, I was disappointed. <laughs> so... Maverick, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something that I have yet to do, and What's I don't think that? anybody's done. I'm not gonna rate this movie. No, you've done that. Yeah, I, yeah, you've done that a couple times. No, I've given like a no score, no, right? You you no, no rated. No. Well, what? He I've given... a no score and a no rating isn't that the same thing? No, no, no. Let me explain. Okay, explain. So I'm not gonna rate this movie, not because I didn't like it. Because I didn't understand you it. Didn't understand it. Yeah. I feel like I'm not smart enough to get this movie. I, I don't know about smart, but I have another take on that. Because I was going to get into. I think Tyler did the same thing with Valerie, where yeah. Valerie got done, and he was like, "I don't know what it's about." Yeah. It's like it's, it's a it's a take or a, it has a taste to it that it's not the type of movie I like. Uh-huh. But I could see it's like it has this like artful sort of like crazy nuance going on yeah. that I'm just like it's out of my realm yeah. I'm not like I don't go that deep into movies uh, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to rate it on that All account right. alright well Tyler round this out uh, buddy old pal I give this movie a 9 yeah I could feel that you were going to give it like a it I thought I knew Tyler was gonna like it. It had so. everything I liked in movies. It was like insightful. It was like really weird. Yeah. I, I feel like I have to watch this movie three or four more times because uh, it was that great. Yeah. 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 That's why I'm not rating it. It's so it's off my scale, but I don't consider it a bad movie because it's off my scale. Okay. I, let me take. I'll give it an eight because there's some scenes in this that they they make disturbing just to be disturbing. Yeah. And it really has nothing to do with the movie, but yeah. like there's a lot I would consider <laughs> that like in this movie that doesn't have to do with anything in the movie. <laughs> but who knows? Yeah. Then again, like I didn't understand this shit. So. All right. Well, hey, spoiler warning <clears throat> for Antichrist from 2009. Everything's getting ruined. You've been warned. So first off, let me uh debunk something that we ended with the last episode this guy did not kill himself after he wrote this movie he did write this movie right after he got released from a mental asylum but he did not kill himself i could not find even an attempted suicide but he definitely he he had been in a mental asylum and suffers from a severe depression um, I also uh, I want to say something real quick. Go ahead. Uh, it started with the lighthouse, Willem Dafoe. Perfect movie. Then we went to this this movie with Willem Dafoe. I am uh, putting forth a ticket that we ban William Dafoe movies from but, the Graveyard Ship <laughs> movie podcast. Because but so far, but so far the lighthouse is great to me, and Tyler's uh, love both of Willem Dafoe. No, You're the only one that doesn't no, have to like them. They're both dog shit. No, lighthouse is one of the greatest pieces of art. If you watch this <laughs> movie we, uh, again, there's oh, so we, much did about. Did the, we do spoiler at all? We yeah, we did spoiler. Oh, yeah. There's so many times I was reminded of the lighthouse in this movie. It starts off in black and white, ends in black and white. Fucking, I, I won't ruin it yet because I want to talk about it. Willem Dafoe fights a bird. Uh, <clears throat> and then, <laughs> a bird. and then there's that shot where he's like buried and got all the shit. Like the lighthouse where he gets fucking buried alive by a. Mm. And it just reminded me about that a lot. But anyway. I was going to say. Scripts now. Yeah. 
I was going to say, so Maverick says that he can't rate it because he doesn't think he's smart enough to understand it. I was going to say that I feel like if you took someone who suffered from, like, severe depression or anxiety, I wonder if they would see this and it would be like, they would understand it. Like, they'd be great. To me, I feel like you. this seems like a movie made by a depressed person for people who deal with the same thing. And I, I haven't really I, ever been there. So to me, I was kind of like, I feel like I'm missing points of this that maybe I would get, you know? I, um, when I was watching this movie, I don't think of the person who, like, made the movie or wrote the script or whatever. Lars uh, von just... Eric. That's a cool name. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I was just thinking of the characters and, like, why they were doing yeah. what they were doing. And there's a lot, like... I just couldn't. Ex I was trying to explain the movie as I was watching it to myself yeah. to try and like just grasp what was there, and well, I'm shooting blanks. I got no idea. Well, let me ask you both this question, okay? Who was the Antichrist? The I don't. <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I'm guessing it was the because uh, Homegirl was just talking about how women are evil at that one point. Uh -huh. So. I, and I'm like, I didn't see Dude as a bad character, so... I thought he was a dick for a long time, but I didn't see him as a bad guy at the end. I, don't, I was thinking... So my whole mindset was... Uh, the beginning of the movie, they lose their child, right? He, Boy, he jumps they. out a window. Yeah. He fucking uh, he eats himself. He like looks back, he's like, alright. <laughs> I was thinking, while you're see, you see him slip, because it's snowing, he's standing on a windowsill. Uh, -huh. uh you see him slip right he falls back falls out the window i was wondering to myself how they filmed that did they put him on like a little ledge and fucking kick his legs out from under him like is that what they i just imagine them putting this little kid and i'm like well that's kind of fucked but know. uh it was shot well. I, yeah i do agree with you i think the the woman was the antichrist yeah mostly and, uh, because spoiler they reveal later that you know, the whole time she's like, I could have stopped it. And then they show you later that she totally saw that kid going up to the window and she just kept fucking Defoe. Did and she? I didn't get that. Yeah, there's a part it, it where she's looking at the three dead strangers at. on the, the thing uh -huh. and she's watching the kid climb up the. Yeah. Thing. And so I was like, oh shit, this bitch knew about everything going on. Damn. Yeah. Um, Weird. I was. See, my whole take was. I don't, just, she was depressed, so she had all these crazy, like, sw mood swings or whatever, and she was going psychotic. And then I was thinking about Homeboy, because he was having all these, like, visions, like, weird visions. And then he went from, like, disassociating, because he really didn't, like, to me, it didn't seem like he cared for the kid. Um, well, I think she you know, says that, right? Isn't yeah, she? yeah, she mentions that, but I don't know. She's crazy. And so she mentions, like, too, it. she's like, you didn't care about me until now because now I'm your patient. You yeah, know? that's what I was getting to because yeah. the kid dies. You see him crying at the funeral or whatever. And then after that point, he just focused all his attention on her. Yeah. So I was like, then they get this weird instead of like, I don't know if they're a husband and wife. But, um, yeah, they are. Instead of get, being like a husband and wife sort of th relationship, he goes straight to being her doctor or yeah. her um, therapist, therapist, psychiatrist. Yeah, the, and then that's all he is to her at that point. And I was yeah. like, well, he's disassociating, and then just making her his project. He's trying to fix her when uh -huh. he's all fucked up in the head too because he lost a kid. So I don't. And like he's seeing all these crazy visions, and I think at the end he was also going a little crazy because he wasn't dealing well, with his own I, feelings. That Indian, uh, when he's standing there and all the fucking people just started walking around, him. yeah, if you I look, fucking, their faces are blurred, yeah, they're um, yeah, blurred. And I was watching it, and I was like, I got, it. <laughs> I don't know, I had what's nothing. Going dude, on. halfway through the movie, like, shit hits the fan really quick, um. And honestly, I lost it when they first go to the um, cabin in the woods. And after that, I'm lost. I got nothing. <laughs> I was just watching fucking people yeah. on a screen, like, well, and people fucking on the screen. Okay, so. well, let's let's get the elephant out of the room, right? So I picked this movie, and then I saw it was unrated, and I was like, oh, cool, it's unrated. That means there's gonna be like 
extra like i don't know what i was thinking uh first two minutes uh full penetration penetration <laughs> just on you get screen. yeah you get a crazy Slow-mo. just like just put a warning uh before if y'all are gonna watch this movie don't have any kids around <laughs> uh, yeah don't yeah it's 18 up just like be just honestly just watch it by yourself yeah. <laughs> why why 18 up though i don't understand it's it's a lot. This movie's honestly, I felt uncomfortable, and I've watched some crazy shit. I was uncomfortable I, watching it by myself. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I felt uncomfortable. I do know at one point, I was like, "Are y'all fucking again?" I was like, "Stop!" Yeah. <laughs> was like, there was some weird. Can I? Shit. So I did some research <laughs> after this movie was over. So first off, this doesn't make any sense to me because apparently this movie is the beginning of the depression trilogy is what it's called what is that but the weird thing is is it tells me it's the first part but there's three other movies it gives me it's a movie called uh melon melancholy i think from 2011 nymphomaniac and nymphomaniac number two i know Uh, um home girl from nymphomaniac i I was like damn what is who is she well funny enough Yeah, yeah, I know her from that. Movie. Funny enough, *Nymphomaniac* had Shia LaBeouf in it, and I haven't watched it, but I did watch some clips where the homegirl from this movie is in like all of them, and she's just getting double teamed by these two uh, BBCs, and they it shows everything. And I was looking he at this is not guy's afraid thing to take her clothes off, dude. It's crazy. And all of his movies are like full blowjob or full. So this yeah. is uh, this guy's shtick is. Uh, yeah, what was a uh, fancy porn director? That's yeah, what was uh when they were making Lethal Weapon Six and Frank kept on? He's like full penetration. That's what we need. They're like, no, it wasn't Lethal Weapon. It was uh oh maybe it was Lethal. I thought they had a different name for it. Yeah, I don't because they make late leaf. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, the weird yeah. thing about these movies, okay. is that. Like, y'all are following dialogue and stuff around. But, like, these real, like, Mandy and shit like that. The words mean nothing, right? You have to pay attention to to everything. Like, it's just a smaller piece of the puzzle. So, and this film did weird shit that I don't even understand. (laughs) Well, so, first off, uh, I wasn't really getting the horror movie vibe. No, I didn't get a... I got... There's, like, one or two jumps. Right? It yeah, is, it's creepy, creepy yeah. Um, but it, that seemed like mostly it would be a movie, and then he's like, oh, fuck, I'm making a horror movie. And so then they would throw in one of them shots of, like, uh, the woods, and it'd be like, oh, and playing this creepy music or whatever. But I have seen the guy said he tried to make a horror movie, and he doesn't think he succeeded. He doesn't think it's really a mm. horror movie. Well, let, me ask, let, me, let me ask y'all a question, even though we're still going through the movie. Yeah. What was the first part that made you go, what the fuck? <laughs> like, well, that was just it's so confusing. Well, I'll say, so full penetration caught me off guard. I wasn't yeah. expecting that. The part that really, I was like, this movie's insane. Where after it happened, I texted Bags and told him, I was like, listen, I don't like this movie. But I was like, you have to fucking watch it, okay? It was right after he saw The Fox. And the fox yeah, went, the chaos reigns. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> that was a pretty good part. Chaos reigns. Yeah, I, had to, I took a break. I had to pause the movie and really? walk away. Yeah. Damn. And plus, it just it reminded me of that fucking movie I still haven't watched yet. Summer of Sam or whatever. Yeah. With the dog. Yeah. But that, yeah. that part... Kill, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, yeah, that part really, uh, really got me. It was a uh, pretty good. Mine has to be. He it falls asleep that. with his hand out the window. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he wakes up, and there's all these things on his hand. I thought I they, were ticks. they were. I thought ticks. they were ticks. Yeah, that's what I took from. That's it. what. Yeah, that's what ticks look like when they. Suck These are like pieces of corn. This doesn't look like ticks yeah. to me. Well. How about the the fucking all the acorns are falling and the wife is like looking for the all the the crying or whatever, and then I don't know if I interpret it wrong, but it sounded like later she was trying to say that was the acorns crying. Yeah, 
That's I what I took from it, yeah. I was lost. She was, she was talking about how the oak trees dropped their acorns. Everything in this showed their kids dying. So the acorns were <laughs> oh, like symbolism. My... And they were like yeah, the kids awesome. dying. And the the noise There's... of them hitting the roof was them, you know, yeah. screaming and acting. There was a, cr- a crazy scene. There's I'm a... guessing Tom's about to bring it up. Probably. There's a part where it's supposed to be like a real punch in the gut. Where this lady has this breakthrough where she steps on the grass and takes a couple steps and she had been talking about the you know her the ground was burning she says at one point which doesn't when she take her foot off is her foot just dirty or was that burns it's just a blister okay yeah from going up the mountain they have this little breakthrough moment and they're looking at each other and they're like ha Next thing you know, fucking baby bird falls out of the, the tree, yes. covering yeah. ants, and then a hawk comes down and grabs it and eats it right in front of him. And I was like, what? <laughs> like, it was supposed to be a real, like, uh. It was crazy. I thought, yeah, it, that part made me laugh. I was well, like, it shows what? the baby bird fall, and then all these ants, and then that hawk, and I was like, well, goddamn, guys, give me <laughs> yeah. a break. <laughs> yeah. So. It it, she was talking about the acorns falling. They only need one. The the trees one in only need or yeah, yeah one every hundred like a hundred yeah. years and like how it drops its babies can, and all that kind of bullshit. Yeah, can I ask you guys crazy. what the fuck happened to the forest by the end of this movie? Did she burn it down or something? Because there all the tree it, the ash was everywhere. I thought that was she, the house. I thought she burned the house. Down. Well, yeah, but like it looked like all the trees around it were knocked down or something too. Oh no! I, I think it was just a shot to show like yeah, like that. That's just movie making getting in the way of was it continuity? Uh huh. To where they wanted to show like you know crazy stuff. Yeah, there was there's a there's lot a, of like weird shit that. Like, so, Willem Dafoe goes in the attic, and this, well, preface that, Homegirl's writing a thesis. I don't think you ever find out what it was about. It's but about she she the uh, Salem witchcraft, about how people would kill women because they were, uh, it's not Salem, but it was about how okay. women were persecuted for being witches. Yeah. Yeah. Back yeah. In the day but they were that. just, like, they were killed because they were women or whatever bullshit. Yeah. Um, so Willem Dafoe goes up in the attic, finds a bunch of like paperwork from Homegirl about her on her thesis or whatever, uh-huh. and apparently her thesis goes from like I think the exact opposite of women are evil, like witches and or whatever. But then it ends up being she believes in that. Yeah, that it's she finds weird. information that shows her that women are evil and that they're all evil. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And how, like, nature, women are nature and nature's evil or some shit like that. Yeah, I saw this movie came out and apparently the guy who directed it got accused of being misogynistic and, like, hating women. And he was like, I'm not, he's like, I relate to the woman in this movie a lot more than I relate to Willem Dafoe. But, yeah, I saw that. Um, what was the deal with her putting the kids' shoes on backwards? They didn't explain it. I was. They it's did that very well. She's afraid that he'll leave her. Oh yeah, that makes sense. So that's her way of making sure that he would never leave is by putting the shoes on the wrong feet. Or whatever. Mm. That being said, it, you know it's just it a normal weird movie. You know, like did did a. Uh... For a moment, I don't know why I thought this, but I really did. Because the movie, when it starts, it's all the slow-mo and the music that I was really into. And the black and white. And then when the kid dies, the very next shot is of, like, the casket. And them, or it's from the casket's point of view. And showing Willem Dafoe and them walking. And all you can hear is, like, the, the stones or whatever under the casket. I thought for a minute that there wasn't going to be any words in this movie because the yeah. characters were just he, she. And so I legit thought, I was like, this whole movie is just going to be sound. And like, they're not going to play. It's not going to be speaking. And I was, I was real worried. I was like, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Repick. Yeah. You're like, what did I pick? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but it didn't. There was, there was speaking. Yeah. It's just, is she in a coma or just like a 
cat- catatonic state for like a month where she just doesn't know what's going on in the hospital or whatever. I think she was in like in and out of yeah. I don't know, depressed sleep or some shit. It's I don't know what happened to her, but yeah, I know she was drugged out of her mind. Uh huh. Oh, for sure. But um, it was weird. I don't understand the that. I I don't. There's weird shit to where she starts like a you know hallucinating, or he makes her hallucinate and stuff. And yeah, the parts where he's like, "All right, now you're walking towards the cabin," and they're like whispering, and it's her slow mo like going through. I was like, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> that was beautiful. The way that was shot was I so mean, fucking nice. It was nice, but I was like, I was like, I don't know what <laughs> what we're doing. Um, there was another thing that related to this, what we're talking about. I can't remember. I don't know. I can't remember it. Um, but, oh, I remember it because I was saying how I thought Willem Dafoe was a dick this whole movie. Because, like... I don't know. Just everything this lady was saying, fucking, he would be like, that's just pain. He's like, that's just, uh, you know, and he would try to doctor it, where he wouldn't believe anything he was, or she was saying. Even after, when he sees that fox that fucking does the weird talking or whatever, like, he still didn't believe her. And I remember being like, man, this guy's an asshole. And then, um, yeah. I didn't really like either of the characters in this movie. Like, uh, I, like, I guess near the end, I was rooting for Defoe, but, but, yeah, I really, like, I didn't, I didn't care for either one of them. Hey, I feel like this was, and I, like I said, this movie is so weird that I have to watch it, like, nine more times, but, um, I feel like the whole movie was, like, science versus nature, to where, like, you know, there's shit that happens in nature that science can't explain, uh-huh. and I thought this was, like, the two... Like butting heads about him being like it's all logical. It's you know what yeah. do you need to know? Like type of bullshit. And I'm like, I, I don't know. And then you know, obviously yeah. in the end, I guess the latter wins nature. But you know, nature's evil. Apparently, yeah, yeah. I, I'm I was very surprised that Willem Dafoe ended up living in this movie. I thought for sure he was fucking dead. Like um. Even before shit kicked off, I just assumed he was going to die, you know, where she kept on saying, you know, uh, you're so confident, but that'll change or so, you know, yeah, the, she would go from like threatening my guy to then the, you know, the next day she'd be like, how you doing? I was like, what? It, it was so, <laughs> she was so flip flop about everything really that I, I think she had multiple personality disorder, right? Cause that would explain Man, a lot. Bipolar. Yeah, bipolar as fuck. Yeah. I don't know. Like, it's... I I think... Like, I don't know if you could say she had something that is real, right? Because she was right about shit, right? She can't be like, when the three beggars come, that's when someone dies. And then they show it up, you know? So it's like... Wait, who showed up? The fox and the raven and the the deer. The deer, Uh yeah. The three yeah. beggars. So, like, but were they ever really true. there? I don't know. Were they represented fucking grief and anger and denial? I think was the three they represented. I should have took a picture. It popped up. Too. Yeah. So um, there is. Yeah, I kept wait. Like, um, there's a part where they're playing around in bed, and um, they're like tickling each other and shit and then the next thing you know this bitch bites Willem Dafoe's nipple he's like ah yeah <laughs> goes, ah, fuck. yeah and I remember being like what is that gonna come back <laughs> like, yeah like I, I got pissed off because um and this is some doctor shit right here where he keeps asking her and he's like what are you afraid of and finally she's like I'm afraid of the woods and the yeah. next thing they do is go to the woods yeah, to go yeah. in this cabin. And I know that's him being like, all right, we're going to go face your fears head on. But I was like, come on, asshole. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. They just had this cabin chilling in the woods, too, at, like, a real nice spot. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, well, they obviously have money, right? Like, oh, yeah, I guess. Dude, well, I, you don't I'm know assuming that. dude's a doctor. Cause, you no, because he said he's not a doctor. Oh. He was... 
Yeah, he was... he's a therapist, not a PhD. Yeah, member. I guess yeah. he is a th- yeah therapist. And homegirl's writing thesis and shit, so yeah. she must be smart. Ah uh, no, she's got one of those like college art degrees where no one really pays or no one's reading that <laughs> fucking thesis. Come on, this is one day she'll make it big, Tyler. Well, I guess not um, anymore. Do you think? Because I don't think it was, but there's a part where they're fucking. There's a lot of fucking in this movie. And uh, she tells Willem Dafoe, she's like, hit me. And he's like, no. And she's like, you'll do it if you love me. And he's like, I guess I don't love you then, right? So she goes running. Then you get a full top-down shot of her just diddling herself, right? And I was like, it was fucking. And uh, next thing you know, Willem Dafoe crawls on top of her and starts fucking her. And then there's like a shot where there's people in the vines or the, Like you there's know. hands yeah. holding her. Yeah. yeah. Really and cool like, shit. It's cool. That's why well, I picked the movie. That was what I saw that made me pick the movie. Um, yeah. But but then the next shot, he's like, I'm not going to keep doing this if you're going to be doing what. Do you really think that was him coming in? Oh, and he smacks her. That's what I was getting to. Yeah, I think that was just her her, her fantasy when she was diddling herself. I don't think that was really Will and Dafoe that came over there. I thought for a second it was going to be like a, a demon, a forest demon or some shit. <laughs> Right? And I was like, there's no way that's him. Yeah. Like, and what a fucked position to be like, yeah, hit me. And then your partner's like, uh, I'm not comfortable with that. And then, like, you must not love me. You're like, go fuck yourself. What are you talking about? Well, she did. They're not comfortable with it. Go fuck yourself. I don't know. Yeah. She did. Well, she, that's what she go did, fuck though. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. But, you Good know, honor. it is what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this movie was twists and turns, man. I I don't know. It's like, if you kept waiting for this to be a horror film, I feel a little sorry for you. Because, like, the horror wasn't, like, a monster. It was, like, I don't know. It's it's I, hard to explain. I don't know what I was waiting for, if that makes sense. But I was waiting yeah. for something. But it never, like, um, and they keep throwing in, like, you get the part with the kid and the shoes on backwards. But then you get the part where during the autopsy... They're like, oh, the only weird thing was uh, he had a bone deformment or deformment in his in his feet yeah. or whatever. That was from the shoes being on. Is that what it was supposed to? Yeah. Okay. So it's like, it's a weird thing to where it's like, what are we, like three quarters through the movie? Like 70% of the way through the movie? And then randomly she's like, Satan. <laughs> you're yeah. like, what? Yeah. Yeah. And then at that point, you start looking for stuff, and there's the weird part where the window just opens on its own. Yeah. Well, so, like, you keep waiting for a monster to come out, and it just never Well, the does. weird thing, they bring up Satan, right? And then, um... And then Satan, he crosses off Satan later. So then Satan yeah. doesn't really play, but then that's when he writes herself, and then that's when you're like, oh, she's the Antichrist, I think. But... I guess we'll get to the the meat potatoes of this movie which is uh after the whole he sees that she's putting the kids feet on backwards and all this shit he like runs into the shack and then he's looking at all the shit like connecting dots about all this shit that she's been going through next thing you know th- this bitch runs in and like hits him with a fucking i don't know firewood or whatever something yeah, yeah. she's something. like hitting him and then um they're, and she's like, you're going to leave me, you bastard. You were supposed to help me. And um, they're fighting. And then the next thing you know, they start fucking again. And I was like, okay. But then she stops and she reaches over and she grabs the firewood and bangs it into his dick. And I was like, oh, my God. And, so and he, he fucking falls yeah. out. My man passes so out. So he passes out, right? And I'm like, all right, well, that's the end of that, right? No. Uh, she, she then proceeds to go over, dude's hard cock is just sitting there, and she just like, yeah, and she then, uh, job, it yeah. shoots blood cum all over her, and I Terrible. was like, it hurt, <laughs> that shit hurt, I was like, okay, and then she goes, and she gets one of them little hand crank drills, and I was like, oh my god, I was thinking she was going for the dick, and we were gonna see, like, some... But she drills into his leg, which I know dude's passed out, but I think that would wake you up. Would, yeah, I was like, this yeah, is, I sure. can't believe this. This is weird. Yeah. Blood. So she drills into his leg. Then she goes and gets like a sharpening wheel thing uh, and a rod and puts it and she tights, 
Titan's nuts on the end of it, so he's got this fucking thing he can't. And then she tosses the uh, the wrench under the. Yeah, dude's the, got like a twenty pound boot on his. Yeah, leg. so then he wakes up and he's like, ah. <laughs> yeah, he has no way to take it off because she yeah. threw the. He wrench never in the seemed wood. to uh, mention the pain in his dick, which I thought was weird. But I kind of thought she cut it off. I thought there was a a a shot of him where his dick was gone, but I think I was wrong. Um, but yeah, so then he's like dragging this fucking thing and he's trying to leave, and she's like walking around she's like where are you you know and this is when he sees the little like fox den fox or den that the wife had talked about before um in one of her visions and so he goes crawling in there to hide and then while he's in there he's hearing this weird noise right and he's like what and it's a raven fucking like buried in the dirt and so he picks it out and i was like oh good i'm willing to foe he saved that raven and then that raven was like, ha, ha, and it <laughs> well, starts start. giving away his position, right? Yeah. Just calling. Yeah. So homegirl hears it and she starts coming. But when you first see the raven, is, isn't the raven like, or crow, whatever it is, I think it's a crow. Crows are small, but yeah. isn't it like real fucked up? Like yeah. it's missing chunks. Uh, like it looked so, dead yeah. to me. And, um, uh, but. It, he punched the shit out of it. Then they show it, and it looks like it's fucking flattened. Uh, but then the thing gets back up, starts crawling again. And yeah. the is like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> he just keeps punching it. I don't know if y'all have much experience with birds, but birds are really easy to kill. Like, literally, yeah. when, you, when you, like... But this was a spirit bird. Yeah, like, it's... That's when you realize... I mean, you should have realized things were weird when the... The boss goes chaos ring. <laughs> Bro, like, That's great. Yeah, no, it was it, eating itself too. I don't know if y'all caught that, but no, it was taking. It was. It was. Uh, this whole film had a thing about like child death. Yeah, like the, the deer had the baby hanging out of it that was yeah. dead. The the fox was ripping its young out of its uterus. Yep. The oh, what, it looked like like the, it was its side was open. I didn't catch the no, yeah, it was fox like... giving birth thing. The deer thing was weird as shit because yeah. you just get this picture of this deer running away. This person well, she thing. talks well, about how she was looking for baby deer and they're hard to catch or whatever. Yeah, and then dude saw him and he was like, "Ah, oh, this is beautiful." And then he saw what was going on and went, "Oh, Lord. yeah." <laughs> like... <laughs> well, how about later when you see the kid jumping out the window again and the deer is behind them in the window? Yeah. And I was like, what does it mean? <laughs> I was like, but yeah, so he fights this bird. She finds where he's at. She's like, come out, come out. And he's like, with his other foot. Him. He's like, ah, ah. He's like, <laughs> and so, so she like knocks a rock loose. So then he's in this cave. So then she goes down and she's like, get out, get out. And she's digging. Um, and I thought she had killed him at first. Yeah. By going. But then it just slowly fades to black, and we haven't mentioned there's title cards in this movie where it's like chapter one, chapter Very two. Incredibly bad looking title. They're cards. like on a chalkboard. Movie. It looked like, um, but yeah, it like cuts in the middle of her digging, and be like chapter four, and uh, and so he's still alive somehow. So she gets him out, and she's like, "I'm sorry," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and so she digs him back, and she's like, "I can't find the wrench," you know. So they're laying there, and he's like, did you want to kill me? And I can't remember what. I think she was like, yeah, or something. No, she said or not she, yet. That was when the three beggars thing yeah. came up, yeah. So then, uh, the next thing you know, she, like, puts his hand down there to a diller. And I was like, again? I was like, are we doing this? Uh, you know. Then she had had this pair of scissors. And I was like, what, what are you doing with those scissors? <laughs> and, and she's like, hold me. And then you just get a shot of her just taking her clit and fucking <laughs> yeah. and just cut her. That, that and was, I was part like, of the movie. Well, it's supposed to symbolize that she isn't worth feeling pleasure or whatever. Yeah. Anymore. But at the same time, I was like, this is brutal, guys. Yeah. Like It was rough. Yeah. Was Which rough. When I was looking up this movie, I did see a lot of um, essays about it where it'd be titled like uh, a work of you know, depressed genius or just a nasty film made to be nasty or whatever, you know? Uh, I feel like it'd almost be worth it to, if we watched a crazy movie like this again, pull up our favorite reviews, whether it be, like, really good detailed reviews or a 
a review that's like, holy shit, this movie. Yeah. Crazy, like. Um, but yeah, so she she does that, and I was like, all right. So then they both pass out, and then Willem the Foe wakes up, and here's the crow, or Raven, squawking again. So he, like, elbows down into the floor, and the wrench is there. The Raven's like, what's up, homie? And, like, shows him where the wrench is. I was like, good on that, you know. So then he's, like, working on the fucking, the thing, and, um, trying to be quiet, but the wife wakes up, and then she goes to attack him with the scissors. She stabs him she in was, the back. I don't yeah. think she was ever asleep. Yeah, I think Maybe she was not. just laying there. Like a weirdo. But, um, yeah. But he, like, gets it, and he, like, yanks it out, he's like, eh, and he yanks it out. Uh, then he stands up, which I don't think would be possible, because I'm pretty sure she went through bone. Like, look like it, yeah. Well, I guess maybe there is that part. I don't know. Either way, I don't really think this dude be standing. Uh, but he gets adrenaline dragging it and everything else, yeah. Like, it's Um, like a one inch bit, too. So it was like, like a whole, like, fucking big as fuck. She stuck her whole finger in it, yeah. Yeah. She, like, so he gets up and goes over to her and just starts choking her, like, puts the thumbs on the middle of the goddamn, you know, and is choking her. Uh, which I'm pretty sure if you watch that scene, she really is having Willem the Foe choker there because that looked like pretty good it choking acting. Like it. <laughs> yeah, and um, I don't know if it was just me. It looked like she liked that shit. I was uh, like, okay, maybe. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, that was. I couldn't tell if it was special effects or not. Like it. I don't think so. I think real. she was just getting choked. Um, and she dies, and then Willem the Foe. Puts a little, in real life. Him real life, yeah. Puts <laughs> a little splint the... puts a little splint on his leg and he goes walking out through the woods and it it has like epilogue and then it's playing it's back to black and white playing the same music, which I thought was a real nice touch. I like that how it started and ended like that. And then uh, that's when you get the shot of just all the people. At first they were just walking up to him, but then they started coming down the behind him. Around him. Around him. And, and it's uh, just random people. They I don't know who they were. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hit y'all with something here. Go ahead. Y'all was it all female? You, you agree or not agree? Well, first of all, they were all female. Were, so the okay. reason I think William Defoe was the Antichrist is because oh, you're going with him, huh? The reason the whole film's like, you know, they're like women are evil, blah blah blah, right? Uh huh. Well, he's the Antichrist, so it beg to differ, you know, or reason that he is the the main evil guy. And at the end of the movie, he realizes what he is, uh-huh. and they all, you know, they all flock to him, so to speak. Yeah. Those are all little oh, girls. all the women. They no, they were. Little... They were. Some were grown. They're not all. Uh, there was one actually. I saw walking with a cane. She had a limp. I did see. I did cane. see a cane lady. Yeah, it's hard to miss. Well, to be honest with you. So I, I'm going to make another judgment too. Okay. Another guess, and y'all tell me, you know, what you think. I think this whole movie takes place in hell. That's and that's why you see the plausible. the faceless people well, I and everything think, like that. I think I, it was supposed to be like you know that kind of mindset. Well, I was thinking because when she talks about the ground is burning, I was thinking like they're over hell right now. You know, Perfect or tool. like hell. Before yeah, hell. maybe. Yeah, but I I don't know when. Who else they did we? Died, Did we yeah. see any, uh, anyone else in this movie no. besides those two? Besides, I think you see some nameless fucks walking with them. Yeah, the, some uh, people in the background. But that's it. That's they crazy. Don't have, they don't so have this faces could actually... either. If you, if you go back. Oh, do they not? Oh, that's yeah, cool. Yeah, their faces are blurred as well. I, I could almost believe in that whole hell thing. Yeah. Maybe maybe it was... Um, well, whose hell would it be then? It, would it be hers because she didn't save her own child even though she could have? Or it could be homeboys, but why would it be homeboys? I think it's already, you're just in hell with all of them. So, I don't think we ever see whose hell it is, I guess. Yeah. So their hell is one and the same. Well, this trapped in the same type of hell, like. Yeah. Well, I saw, originally this movie was supposed to start filming in 2005, they were going to make this. But the script got leaked. And the original script, the ending, uh, would reveal that Satan had created the world and not God. Um, Okay. But, which I read that and I was like, well, that sounds fucking cool. 
Um, but it got leaked in the Lars von oh La, Lars von Trier, not Lars Lars von Eric. But he was like, "Well, fuck!" So he went and rewrote it. What a bitch. <laughs> so there's that. Hey, uh, there's a, the whole thing about like uh, I don't know. They they talk about how women are evil in this, and people are saying this guy's misogynistic or whatever. But I kind of see what he was going for or at or whatever. So I don't know. I think, uh, like I said, there's a lot in this movie, and the fact that it's just the the ramblings of a crazy man mm-hmm. doesn't really help much, you know. Yeah. But... Hey, this movie had a budget of three point four million dollars. Jesus Christ! Made a box office of seven point four million dollars. Doubled its money. That's insane. Did it? It didn't play in theaters. There's no fucking way. Well, that's where the box office is. Oh, to be what? fair, it didn't come to the U.S. It oh. aired in uh, Denmark, if, uh, France, Germany, Italy, Poland, and Sweden. Of course it did. Of course it did. So, um, yeah. Uh, hey, let's do best of, worst of. Uh, my best of. I'm going to go ahead and say that my best of is him fighting the, the bird in the hole. Uh, that was pretty good. Made me laugh. Close second would be the uh, the fox. <laughs> but, Chaos reigns. Yeah. But I'll go with the bird. And then least favorite. Uh, I don't really I don't really know what my least favorite is. Yeah. I don't. I don't really. Maybe just that I didn't really care for either of the characters. Maybe I'll just like say that. I didn't really think. Um, I say that I didn't really think either of them were played very well either. Like that might be blasphemy to say, but I like Willem Dafoe, Lighthouse. Like if we compare that movie, I, like is amazing in that. But I didn't like neither one of their performances really blew me away. For their characters. Can I disagree with something you're saying? Okay. Even though it's your opinion on what you thought was worse? Uh-huh. You're wrong. I think William and Poe did a great job. I think the girl was fucking horse shit. But if I think that... that if, if we were... I would go swap. I would think she did a better job than William Defoe did. But at certain points, William Defoe would talk in, like, old English. <laughs> yeah. And stuff. And then when you see that they're in, like, fucking Oregon. And you're like, uh, what? Like... I, don't, really I think they both did a great job acting like crazy batshit people, but the script itself was dog shit. Yeah. Um, they because Homegirl acted like, like I said, multiple personalities. I didn't get any vibe of like a bad acting job or whatever. But William Dafoe played fucking crazy William Dafoe. So, I mean, I didn't. The acting was fucking top ten. Um, of course, I want to. His acting in the lighthouse is so much more, right? Um, it's the it's he definitely plays a much more uh vibrant or extravagant yeah. character in the lighthouse, yeah. But, um, well, yeah, I don't think the script was 2009. 2009, yeah. Lighthouse is like last year, so. He's yeah. had 10 years. He did have 10 years to get yeah. better, yeah. And I can't think of any hit movies he was in before Antichrist. Whoa. Amazing Spider-Man, please. Was yeah. that before? Like, that was like was 2001 that like or something. Oh, was it really? It's old as fuck, dude. So. Um, also, was he in um, a, a favorite of mine that you might have seen? I don't think Tyler or uh, I was ever seen. Fucking uh, Life Watch Aquatic. Oh. You ever watch that? He's in that. He's really good he's, in that. He's in Platoon he's too, right? Talking to Bill Murray, he's like, Can you call me son? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he is in Platoon, yeah. Isn't he an asshole in Platoon? Isn't he a yeah, bad yeah. guy? Yeah. yeah. No, he ends up being a good guy, but he's an asshole because he's like Well, I don't know. It's but, weird. Yeah. You gotta watch it. <laughs> he's like one of those guys who's a hard ass, but at the end yeah. you realize that he's, you know. Right. Marek, what's your Best of worst of. Best of was um, I got a crazy like a de- a really good jump scare. 
from um i think it was when uh he's like putting all the pieces together in the shed and she like, comes running yeah out of yeah. just out of nowhere just boom hits him it was um i got a false sense of security when he walked into the shed yeah closed the door it, and it, yeah. it looks like he 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 puts like a latch down and i was like okay then you see him going through like pictures and shit and it, like his the wheels are turning in his head uh-huh. and then just out of nowhere boom blindsided and i was like oh like i jumped i was like oh fuck i did not see that coming um and it was so fast and usually they'd like you can sort of feel it coming and maybe the director will put like a a little bit of music in the background and like there'll be like a spiker or, or something to get yeah like some type of music cue but not in this one i think honestly i think it might have been dead silent and then just out of nowhere bam i was like oh fuck yeah um worse or another best of was um that scene where they're fucking underneath the tree and you get all the the, the limbs i don't know whose limbs they were they were just pale white and they were in, intertwined in the roots of the tree and i was mm-hmm. like i don't know what it was symbolizing i don't know shit i just knew it was those, nice too busy die. eyeing up the foe's booty <laughs> these are uh those are all takes on like renaissance paintings of hell yeah like later on, when William Defoe's leaving, and you see all the bodies. Mm, yeah. Like, you know, when oh yeah, I forgot to mention all out. the bodies. Yeah. Like that's that's a Renaissance painting. Like it's a famous. I can't remember the name of it, yeah. but like it's a painting depicting I, Dante's escape from hell or something yeah. like that from Dante's Inferno. I hate to break the illusion, by the way, but I will say that was not really uh, Defoe's cock that you see in the movie. No. So R.I.P. I mean, yeah, you never see it. You don't get like a frontal like you get from Homegirl, even no, though she you never had, like see, pasties or something. But you, you never, never see, see him like his full face body where he's like. Ah. Yeah, so I, I figured it. I you do it see a point to where like they're there, like talking like about a, making out, oh. and she's like she's undoing his belt, and she just reaches over and grabs his cock. That's and I was true, like, yeah, that's but, probably him, right? Because how would it not be? You know, might be. But anyways, anyways. Tyler, you got the best of, worst of? Uh, I mean, my best of is just all the, like, the visual imagery they use. Yeah. Like, there's a weird scene where William Defoe realizes that everything's crazy, everything's bad shit, and something's going on. Uh-huh. And he's just standing out in the yard, and there's, like, fucking acorns just littering him. Yeah, yeah, that was... Yeah. And he's just standing there, like, he's looking at the camera, and, like, it, I don't know. There's just a lot of crazy, great shots in this. Wasn't that a, a, a dream, though? He was... Because he wakes up, and he's like, I'm having some crazy dreams, or some shit like that. Well, that's after she had told him that the acorns were crying, and shit. Yeah. And he uh, said that she was full of shit. Yeah. But... They start off, when she's in the hospital, there's a shot where it zooms in on a plant. And it, like, goes into it. And I was thinking it was going to do, like, one of them transitions. Oh, yeah, it was in the vase. Yeah. Yeah, where it comes out into something. But then it just cuts. <laughs> and I was like, why did, we, why did we go into that plant? But. Fucking magic school bus in this motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Photo, th- photo synthesis your, and shit. What's your worst of shit on something for me, Tyler? Preferably my chest. Um, my, you know, I, like. It showing homegirl chop off her clit was pretty bad. I thought that was a little over. Which it, it goes from like real to then very clearly it's like a fake fake vagina. Um, which the, I guess you can't really. You never which, actually see. You see scissors and then thing and then I don't think you ever actually see it like snip. Oh yeah, the, you uh, do. Yeah, it you snips do. and then the blood shoots out. <laughs> was and, this uh, not in the one I watched? What the fuck? It apparently uh, the. The drill into the leg was really bad. Wasn't the best. Well, it wasn't. It was, ba- it was bad that he didn't wake up and was like, yeah. ah. <laughs> like, he didn't move at all. Yeah. And then they they showed him after that, like shaking, like he was going through shock, you know. Uh-huh. But I was like, whatever. Um. But the probably the worst part of this movie is the first twenty minutes. When it's a lot of uh, when he's Just like having to be like, all right, breathe health. in five yeah. seconds. <laughs> okay, when y'all saw that, did you do it? No. So and uh, that I'm gonna add a third thing. Okay. To best of worst of. God damn. And then we're gonna add a maybe to it. Okay. And I haven't watched this movie again yet, but I want to say that homeboy was going through the three stages as well. 
but it's just harder to realize because everything focused on the woman. Yeah. But I would think if you wa- rewatch this again, he'll go through the same, the same three stages of you know sadness, anxiety. Probably. Well, whatever. he's he's the only one that interacts with the three beggars. Yeah, because it's she weird. Never sees them. Yeah, the weird thing is, is that, that like this whole time you think you know the weather's on her side. Remember she causes it to hell. Yeah, because she was talking about the witches could cause it to hell or whatever. Uh-huh. Or women. They don't say witches. They always just say women. So it is what it is. But like I think if you watched it again and just focused on him and not where the camera's pointed, yeah, that you might see that he's going through the same weird shit, you know. But mm-hmm. who really knows? Yeah, you know, because he's out in the yard building building shit, and she's like, "What are you doing? Why are you doing this?" He's like, "I gotta help you," because uh-huh. she's afraid of grass. What the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, weird. Yeah, but like you know, he starts seeing all this weird shit, and the homegirl doesn't, you know. And they all they keep talking about Eden. What the hell is Eden? I mean, I guess it's the name of the cabin, in the garden yeah, of Eden kept, from Adam yeah. and Eve. Yeah. I know, but yeah, it was like, yeah, the only time she ever has it is when she's trying to find the cries, and she has that weird vision of her kids sitting in the shack. Well, no, I think he he was there. Oh, yeah, you think? And then he was fine, right? He was playing with a chunk of wood or something. Yeah. Fucking retard. And he was like, I got wood. <laughs> and like, Damn. Well, he's dead. You say something about it because he's dead, right? Is that how that works? No, it's not. I like when we looked up the cast and there was only he, she, and then Nick. And we were like, who's Nick? And it was a grown man. That was It was the baby, but it was a grown dude, so we didn't know any better yet. So, Pop but, that up on screen right now. So, so like, she, like when you Google the movie. Yeah. The cast for it. But like, so this 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 movie has so much weird shit going on. Because the lady like foretells a bunch of stuff. And she was like, uh, you'll know. You'll see. You'll you know? see, yeah. And you're just like, what is going on? So I guess to answer all, you know, the earlier question, I think this is William Defoe's hell. It almost has to be, right? Yeah. Or he's the but it never but... like explained what he did. Like I feel like you'd be in hell for a reason, and if he, it was his hell, it would have explained. Like it, uh, if it anything, did. it points to homegirl's hell because well, no, she, like she she let her kid die. She tells you that he doesn't love her or the kid, and he doesn't care about either one of them. And the only That's reason she cares true. now is because you know whatever. But like, I don't know. Yeah, but I feel like in there somewhere you would have to have a a place where Willem Dafoe died at some point. I mean, you know, to get hit in the dick and because well, like, yeah, like but he, that happened, you know, when you all this shit was already going on. Really show pain. Yeah. Remember he gets stabbed in the back and he's like, what the fuck? He just reaches back, pulls the fucking scissors out and throws them across the room. Yeah. He, he does yell when he pulls the rod out of his leg. That, he yells like really loud. That's true. He definitely didn't, like, he's crying in that first scene. Uh, but after that, he's not, he doesn't really show a lot of emotions. Yeah. Yeah. He could have died when um, Homegirl hit him in the dick. Yeah, but what I'm saying he, is, he, like, he, like, passes out. This is already, it's so far in at that point. Like, after everything yeah. he's seen. Well, no, because really, that scene is when shit just goes batshit. Like, it hits the fan. Oh. Um, that's when homegirl? That, yeah, <laughs> she... Uh, she blindsides him, attacks him, and then um, after that, the whole movie's crazy. Uh, she turns into, like, a killer, right? Um, well, not necessarily a killer. She just doesn't want him to leave her. Uh, uh, she was definitely giving off some killery vibes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it turns from... Don't leave me. I'm going to put a rod in your leg to, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to kill you now because three messengers or whatever popped up. Uh So I don't know where she was going after that. She didn't make it (laughs) after that. She did. But, uh, yeah, I don't. So. Not sure. I don't know. Uh, The thing is, this movie is called Antichrist, right? The Antichrist is literally a person born or, you know, a person. Who's the opposite of Jesus? Yeah. And now I think this movie just has a bad title. That's I, I was gonna I, yeah. I was gonna say the very first thing was the title. 
Like nothing yeah. had been written. He just wrote Antichrist. So it's almost like he wrote it and intended for that to be there, but then it's not there. Yeah. So we could be like, oh, who's the ant? But it, really, there just might not be one. This just seems like a very dark version of, uh, was it Pursuit of Happiness? Not Pursuit of Happiness. <laughs> it's a really dark version of Pursuit of Happiness. What Dreams May Come? I don't know what that movie is. It's the one with uh, the homeboy who hung himself. Uh, Robin Williams, where his wife is in a car accident. And he's like running through hell to go and get her back. Oh uh, shit! I meant to watch that movie. It's a really good movie. I mean, yeah. we should watch it. I, don't yeah, know. I heard it was good. It has horror influences. But. Yeah, I, I saw a, a bunch Robin of clips. Williams it looks movie great. That I watched a video essay on that I was gonna pick, but I don't really think it's horror. Where he plays like a um, I mean, it's definitely thrillery. He was creepy, a painter in that movie. Where um, he plays one of them comedy. guys and like at the photo lab. At the photo lab, yeah. Yeah, that's a hundred percent a horror movie. You it's think? Really yeah. Scary. Well, I'll yeah, pick it yeah. one week. Um, I was gonna like. Um, I got in an hour or something. What was it called? Uh, Ready in an hour or something like that. Something. I, I, right. Um, I got like um, a movie I we haven't watched yet, or, or at least on the show, and I've never watched it, but it's one of those like classic movies that I I want to pick soon just because the director recently died and I saw uh, a thing about the movie that made me want to watch it. But The Omen, which I haven't I'm watched. I'm going to pick those forever. We'll do that as an overtime, I think. I don't know. I'm going to uh, tell you right now, they're boring as fuck. No, no, it's going to be great. But, so what I'd seen, I won't, but there's a shot in The Omen of the of this little kid where he turns around and he like smiles or whatever. Yeah, his, his name's Damien. Yeah, yeah. And uh, the kid in the beginning turns around, like, smiles at the fucking, and uh, I was getting some, so that's why I was like, oh, this kid's going to be the Antichrist. But then he never pops up again. Well, he pops up in that shack. He pops down, am I right? Ah! He does pop down, <laughs> yeah. But, or will Tyler falling out of a window joke? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but... He filmed it in slow-mo, too, and you see him plop. It's it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, the whole scene is like it's and they have it so as soon as he hits the ground that's when it's like the last note where it's like, yeah it's like an italian opera and people <laughs> yeah. are fucking and this kid is flying yeah sort of. falling falling with style <laughs> do a flip do <laughs> suicide's <laughs> badass <laughs> but it's i don't know this film is it's a it's a I, weird one. I Mr. think Grinch. it's see this is the problem with these like I, I consider this like an art house film. Yeah, and definitely. the problem with art house films is when you watch them, you read so much into it, and then the guy's just like, "I was high as fuck. I wrote that <laughs> it's out. Yeah. right yeah. heroin straight, straight to the brain." Context, but it you know there might not be any right. It might yeah. just be the ramblings mm, of a crazy yeah. person. Yeah. So, but I'm definitely gonna That's watch my, it again. Yeah. That's this my... is going to be a date night movie. Oh, yeah, totally. Bring your chick home, watch this first thing. Yeah. Okay, That's... let me ask you all a question. There's a lot of fucking in this movie. There's a lot of nudity and everything uh -huh. else. I was never once aroused or, like, it never it was like, ooh, you know, like, the whole time I watched uh, this maybe, movie, I was like... Maybe the first, beginning, you're yeah. like, ooh. But then after that, it was like, I don't like this. <laughs> so it's, the, uh, yeah. You got to give them, a, you know, a plot or whatever props to my man for having like this much sex in a movie and not once the movie being about sex right like that's yeah. true you know most movies especially like the slasher movies you know they'll they'll throw a sex scene in there and you're like uh, you see titties or whatever and it completely takes you out of the element right yeah. you're never like oh jason's around the corner you're like ah titties yeah. or whatever and like in this it doesn't do it like homegirl runs around butt naked half the movie she does and it never once like, yeah in your like mind, um equates you know when we watched uh valerie was crazy when we watched valerie i remember when you looked it up it was like an erotic horror movie is what they call it yeah. this movie blows valerie out of the water with fucking <laughs> i think they're both on to be right. fair there was like a 15 year old naked in that movie which that's kind of well it's art you know. <laughs> anyway, uh <laughs> I can get you locked the fuck up. <laughs> but uh anyway. 
Yeah, it's it. It, it was definitely it was a unique, unique movie. I had uh, I didn't watch a trailer or anything. I didn't look up any reviews. I didn't either. This is a movie I just jumped straight into. Yeah. And the first thirty seconds when you just get clapping it's, and I'm like, just clapping. oh, yeah. fuck. It's close. It's uh, how can we phrase it? Close penetration. Like you're. I don't even know how they got that camera angle. <laughs> yeah. I had professionals yeah. in the studio that day. Well, no, because like I did notice huge. Just so. a just a little nitpick. I did notice because I, I I rewound it. I was like, hold on, uh, rewound it. They did stop right before the balls. <laughs> it's the whole thing by that like, point. And I was like, yeah. I was like, come on, man, you got to have the little ball smack to that. <laughs> That's too far. Too yeah, sure. that was it. Yeah, that would have got the movie banned if they had the the balls. <laughs> anyway, uh, next so, week. Okay. Even though you didn't like it, and yeah. Maverick didn't give it a rating because uh-huh. he, you know, would you tell people to watch this movie? I, I mean, told, you did. I told Bags yeah, to watch it. Yeah, you told Bags. I it. thought about telling my dad to watch it. Oh it's fuck. <laughs> 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 But Better make sure your mom ain't for that shit. Ah, I, think, you know. I think uh your dad would have the same reaction as you, you two had. I don't think he'd appreciate the like symbolism and stuff. No, I, uh, he hasn't liked any of the movies I've shown him. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I feel Just, like he yeah. wouldn't watch the full thing. Well, first off, it's impossible to find. I had to rent this shit on fucking it's on Google YouTube, Play. Like, yeah, on Google Play and it's on like some tried- off brand fucking service i saw it was on yeah it's on like tubi i think is the, something like that something. so tubi is just bootleg youtube that countervents yeah. copyrights okay but i so saw it, yeah i saw like, it was on youtube went to youtube and it wouldn't let me rent it off of there and i was like what so then i ended up having i just did google play but then i saw that when you do it on Google Play, it's just on your YouTube, so you could just watch it through YouTube after that too. Yeah, when, yeah. What did you gave me a movie? I gave you Uncut Gems. Yeah. No. So now I still need to watch. No, that. I gave you Good Time. I don't think you ever watched Uncut Gems. You got to Good Time, got to when the dude was trying to use the credit card. No, to I watched. Pay the, I watched. I watched Uncut Gems. Did you watch Uncut Gems? Okay. Well, don't say it because Maverick hasn't seen it. Your right. movies. Let me see. I click here. Yeah, Uncut Gems is the one movie I have. Hell um, yeah. You gave this me, is how I went. <laughs> you gave me Joker. I did give you Joker too, yeah. Joker's a great movie. It's weird I gave you Uncut What did I give Bags? I gave Bags. AIDS. Maybe I gave him. Maybe clap. I gave him Good Time. I don't think so because I think he watched it before you did. Well, he did, but then I bought the Blu-ray and then he wanted the, the, the code. Maybe I gave him Hereditary? Kind of look. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It, uh, I... Yeah. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, I, remember, I would. I don't remember why we were talking about it either. I I I would recommend it to people. I think would like. I would preface for me at least. I would go. Hey, listen. I don't like this movie, per, but I think you should watch it. <laughs> That's how I would put it. I I I still think that it's one of those movies that idiots like me put a lot into and uh-huh. it's just gonna be a guy who was like it's my I, yeah i had done so much cocaine i love <laughs> i love stephen king that everyone's like oh how did you come up with you know the shining and all this stuff and he's like i have no memory of ever writing these books i was on so many drugs jesus and it's like creativity right, is a motherfucker yeah and then that motherfucker got hit by a van and had to take some time off. Yeah, but then he wrote some amazing shit. He did. While he was on the painkillers and stuff. Yeah. All right. So. Well, that's Antichrist. Next week, it's Tyler's pick. Well, what? Where are we watching, Tyler? Uh, I'm trying to think. I either want to pick The Babadook, because that's what I wanted to pick last week. Yeah. Or this movie called Sinister that I keep hearing about. Sinister is supposed to be the scariest movie of all time. Really? Uh, scientists did a uh, a test on it where they had Scientist these people watch the movie. Shit. 
and have their pulse lined up and sinister was the one where people had the highest pulse the longest amount of time if i go online and i order us all pulse meters uh-huh will y'all wear them to watch this movie well i will but there's no way to record it to be fair yeah you would just have to look down and like maybe write it down on your phone like i was at this point sinister is good it's got um oh you've seen it yeah it's got ethan hawk it's got um this guy from the wire that's real good who plays a cop he has a bigger role in part james ransom is that his name okay might be fred thomas Thompson. Maverick watch wire clips. Maverick, do you remember Iggy from The Wire and your wire clips? The guy with the duck? Uh-uh. No. Oh, well, that's a shame. He don't anyway. remember yesterday, though. I like, like it. Maverick. Bags likes it, too. And then uh, I think me and him both watched the sequel, and we were like, ah, that was good. <laughs> what, of Sinister? Of Sinister, yeah. So but I've never seen it. So It has... um. I, I if it sounds like I'm pushing for censor, I'm not. It's your choice. It has a part in the movie that is on a top ten of the scariest moments in horror movies. So, just just saying. <laughs> I, I still vote Robin Williams horror movie. <laughs> yeah. the one where he's a pain. <laughs> Do you know how long it's been since I watched a Robin Williams movie, dude? I think the last thing I watched him, I can't even. It's been so long. I don't know. Like, we grew up on Aladdin, right? He has, so that shit was crazy. He has a great movie that I keep telling Tyler and, and the Bags to watch that they haven't watched it. The, it would get canceled if it came out today. But it's like The Life According to Garp, or The Life According to... Or The Three yeah. Eyes of Garp. That um, it's, it's unlike anything else he ever made. Fucking um, John Lithgow's in it, and he plays a transvestite football player. Um... And it's a great movie, but no one's ever watched it. Well, um, <laughs> so. Homeboy, Jim Carrey had one where there's a transvestite. That was um, Ace Ventura 2. Yeah, yeah. Pet, the Pet Detectives. No, um, Ace Ventura 1. Was it the first was one? Was that the first okay. one? I don't Laces know. Laces out. Laces out, yeah. Anyway, um, I think they tried to cancel that movie later because of that. Oh really? uh, yeah, I'm you pretty. Can't I remember Jim Carrey. I remember that was that. a thing. Yeah, that they were upset about that. I mean, Jim Carrey has been canceled for like the last ten years. N- not canceled. Like, he, he, I don't think he did anything, did he? Yeah, he just, he, he gave his really... girlfriend an STD and then told her she could tell anybody well, about listen, it. And then we we don't talk about allegedly, it. <laughs> allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Yeah. See, I didn't hear nothing about that. None of it. It's it's uh, you don't read news. To at be all. fair, fake news, Tyler. Fake news. To be fair, the is this from the website that Mike Shinoda was fucking Chester's wife, and that's why he killed himself. Yes. Okay, well, we'll take it with the... <laughs> CNN. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was the top... top that, that's not even the conspiracy about that. that that's known that Mike Shinoda... And that's not Chester's known. Wife. It's not a thing. The real conspiracy <laughs> well, is Listen, that... listen, we don't need to go into that. I remember <laughs> what it was. We don't need to... Do you remember what it was? It was, uh, let's pause. Unpause. Anyway. Now you'll never know what we <laughs> were talking about. Ah. Um... <laughs> So, anyway, what, what are we watching? Baba Duke so, or uh, Sinister? Sinister is about a guy who gets tapes or something. And <laughs> Another lost uh, tapes? No. I no, mean, he it's... finds tapes, but it's not a, it's not like found footage shit. The Baba Duke's more of a, like, a creepy ambiance type of thing. Uh-huh. So, I don't know. I'll pick the Baba Duke just because you haven't seen it. The Baba Duke. Uh, and uh, it's an Australian gym. Barma Duke. So, yeah. So, and uh, yeah, it only made it didn't make any money though. So. Listen, listen, that's the best. <laughs> oh no! Right. Oh no! See, I'm I'm torn because Sinister is name recognition. People might actually you know click because of the movie, right? Baba Duke is one of those hidden gems. Dude. So, are you gonna pick a main core, a mainstream movie I, that people have heard of, or do you pick the movie that no we, one's heard of? We say this. People on to it. We say Robin this, Williams. but then I'll put up fucking uh, Return of the Living Dead Part Three, and that bitch will get the most views out of any snakes on a plane. Well, I that guy has a name, but that one fucking 
So it's all it's always the weird ones that you wouldn't expect that blow up. I mean, well, Re- I... Return of the Living Dead three has, or Return of the Living Dead has three thousand v- views, and that's my is my favorite movie. But I don't think anyone's gonna watch that shit. <laughs> I think uh, I think we have to go with Babadook. Okay. And the only reason I say that, I hate Ethan Hawke. Whoa, the Hawk. I'm not a not a fan. He was the worst part of that Magnificent Seven movie. Was, like, which one? Hulk, was he the one? Up. Was he the one in the bell tower with the Gatlin gun? Yeah. Okay. He was the one who was afraid to shoot his gun. That, yeah, and then he shows up later. And he's oh, like, I like him though. <laughs> yeah, and he just dies. Spoiler. I don't know if he does. Actually. I like his character. They they both get fucked up in that. Uh, I said he had a Gatling gun. Die? No, Denzel lives. Uh, the Mexican dude lives, and I think the Native American dude might live. The the Indian guy, not the other one, because the uh, what's the guy's name from uh, Full Metal Jacket? Doesn't Vincent D'Onofrio? Yeah, it doesn't he like somewhat fit the Native American role too? I don't know, but he's, he's like a white dude with a bear. Yeah, he's on. a big old white guy. Yeah, it was supposed to be like Daniel Boone or whatever, but he like speaks the language, I think, right? Or one of them does. There's two people in there who speak Native American. I don't know what the probably name the Native, Native American, American dude speaks Native American. Yeah, but there's someone who understands them. I don't. And I, don't I think that's Vincent D'Onofrio. But anyways, uh, Ethan Hawke was great in Training Day. Fucking loved him in that. I can't even remember he was in it because fucking Denzel yeah, Hawk he's is amazing. yeah. Definitely. Honestly, yeah. you said he was great in Training Day, and I went, he was in Training Day, and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> he's, he's like the, the second, he's the main, main guy, character, yeah. Like, that movie's good. I don't know. He was great in Training Day. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> There's another movie oh, where, like... Do this to me. What's that movie where everyone's mm-hmm. genetically modified? King Kong ain't got shit on me. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, you, like you a... motherfuckers. You <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> hey, y'all are doing all these clips for Ethan Hawke. It's not, it's it's not, not even Ethan Hawke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ethan he's great. Hawk, I love what him. Is he, he, why are you putting me in the tub? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm smoking crack or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Terry but... Crews is in that movie. Very young Terry Crews. Really? Looks the exact same as he does now. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't it? Black don't crack, baby. Black don't crack. I mean, Morgan Freeman's crackiest as shit. What are you talking about? That man's uh, been 90 years old for 90 years. It's true. The man has anyway, yet what to are crack. we talking about? What was happening? <laughs> All right. So I, I don't like Ethan Hawk. Okay. So. So we're picking Boba Duke. Next, next week, my pick. I'm picking Robin Williams. Okay. You don't even know. <laughs> there's not a scary movie with him. What are you? Well, that photo yes. one. That's the only one. Uh, and it's like ready in an hour. Like I mean, about, Mrs. Doubtfire like, is kind of scary. It's, it's a horrible movie, though. Watch a trailer. It's really bad. I'm, I'll watch it twice. And I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. And then I'll pick it. For a third time. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, next week, the Baba Duke. Thanks for listening to Antichrist. Uh, oh. I think you have to name this video something else. I'm not going to. I don't think it. I think it'll get Quick instantly bait. age restricted. Hey. So what? I don't think Fuck. so. Yolo. Yolo. We got, we got we got unage restricted on society. There you go. Nice. Society back, you can all watch it. Even if you're little eleven year olds or something, I don't know. Man, you show titties in it. No, no, they're titties behind fog glass. You don't see <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, I will not be playing the clip of the full penetration. <laughs> or the click cutting. Yeah, you say it was at the end of the video. Yeah. <laughs> so they've already like been worried about it. And then yeah, they're like, the I keep fighter. waiting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you All just right. play the troll clip. It's like, oh, something to <laughs> piss people off. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, you put no word art <laughs> and draw it. And draw like, stick yeah. figures. <laughs> stick just figures. play, play like a train going into like a tunnel. Yeah. That family guy clip family the guy train is <laughs> random. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Oh no. Anyway, thanks for listening. 
next week, the Baba Duke. We're going to do a Peninsula Overtime at some point. Oh, yeah. We'll put, well, maybe we'll... The, it won't come, but maybe we'll do it... Uh, what, Monday? You're off Monday? Maybe we'll do it Monday. We do it Monday or we can do Tuesday morning if you get off in time. That's true. Why well, don't... Yeah. All right. Yeah, you're we'll, off Wednesday, Thursday, right? Off Wednesday, Thursday, baby. Seems like my days off go by faster and faster, and then I'm back. <laughs> That's why I don't like having two in a row, but then you, when you have them separated, it's not that great. Either. Yeah. All right. So, look forward to those. And uh, Maverick, got anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, man. Like what? and subscribe. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't comment. Don't want to see it. <laughs> don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't even like talking to these guys. The fuck you think I'm going to look at your comment for? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Do what you want. I can't stop you. Who am I, God? No. But are you the Antichrist? <laughs> Fucking baby. I don't know. Shit. All right. No comments. <laughs>